Hey guys, we got a cool review today. We're going to be testing out a new uh, new generation in plasma lighting. Um, plasma lighting is fairly new. Um, it's highly efficient and is only improving now with a new reflector and hood. Now we've given the plasma light about an hour to warm up. It only takes a few minutes, but we gave it a full hour. Looks like it's drawn a little over 300 watts. And here we have our fixture. We're measuring 12 inches from the source and 12 inches away recording about 800 micromoles and from the very side of the fixture so we're about six inches off the fixture we're measuring about 580 micromoles okay so now we're going to compare the 400 watt uh, leading uh, brand this is a brand new ballast we're going to because we're comparing it with a 300 watt uh, plasma we're going to we have dropped it to 275 to be somewhat in the ballpark and uh, we've let it warmed up already for quite a few minutes now, about a half an hour. We are drawing a total of 288 watts, so 289. I must say that the plasma um, spectrum is by far superior than this, just from just from looking at it. This looks like yellow light. This looks like a street light, actually. And we are using top of the line uh, bulb, iHorolux bulb. So, but look, this is yellow light. Um, so it's not so agreeable to the eye. In terms of lumen output, we can see that it's um, 921, 921 micromoles at 12 inches. We have the same kind of drop-off phenomenon that we were experiencing before. We have uh, just a few inches away from the light source and the same distance away, but um, to the side, you see a drop-off to 600. So you have you do have a slightly larger um, uh, footprint mm -hmm. on a 400 H HID, and um, you do have a slightly more intensity too, about a hundred micromoles more. But what you do have is a different, a completely different spectrum of light. Yes. So once again, quality versus quantity. Um, the best scenario, like we stated earlier, the best scenario to use a plasma would be in combination with an HID. Mm -hmm.